Hello there, welcome to my first ever tutorial and this one will be with the procedural tool that I developed for a spot that we made just now and I want to share with you and, and okay this is the spot over here and we had to make a 3D domino uh, a lot of shots with extensions in 3D uh, one part is real the other is 3D and and we had to make a procedural tool we made it in 3D Studio Max in Udini and I was responsible for th thinking particles and 3D Studio so I will show you how the tool works and I will share with you if you have if you want to have some fun with it cool so let me just start showing how it works so I'm going to the top view and I'm going to draw a line over here okay pretty cool then I will move upwards and I will explain why afterwards and I'm going to choose this line as my domino path. Okay, nothing happens because I don't have the domino shape selected. And I'm going to select it here. So, voila, it's done. Uh, so, this is my domino shape. It's just a box with extrusion, nothing fancy. And then I will have to position my uh, this is a particle that I create to give the initial force. So let's position it here. And let's see oops, what happens. Let's press play. Okay, voila. Real time, we have the domino. Cool. And let's start explaining why I made this shape over here. Uh, at the top okay because in this movie we needed uh, to put the domino in a uh, ground and the ground could have uh, some noise for instance and uh, if it doesn't have some noise it could be a little bit rotated uh, so like this and we had to adapt so I made this system that uh, creates the domino here and then shoots a ray in Z that intersects the ground and position this uh, over the ground. So that's why I made it. Let me just remove the noise and make less rotation like this. Oops. Like, okay, let's make it like this. And that's it. So the system we can define the number of particles so let me just show you okay 10 particles 20 50 whatever then we have the mass so it goes faster and it's heavier and so on and the particle position why did i make this because uh, we could have different shapes and with different sizes let me show you okay uh, let me try a donut. Uh, a torus. Beautiful torus here. Okay, and then we go to TP and choose the torus instead of the box. Oops, okay. Let's not the ground. Okay, so now we have two objects over here. I just want to torus, so I remove the box. And let me press play. And okay, we have a domino made of torus. And you notice that uh, I can reposition this a little bit better. So, and I can define the strength and the speed of this here on TP. So, initial velocity, let me put the maximum velocity and okay in real time I really this is the great advantage oh and let me show you 
the initial position okay so it's intersecting a little bit and but let's make it the torus bigger okay now we have to really reposition the particle and that's why I've exposed this value that is really cool let me just reposition this okay and press play cool so now I'm going to uh, and by the way if I make here a noise let me just put the noise on let me just check how it goes okay now we have these particles going and I'm going to explain you why this is the sampling of TP I have to go a little bit up and I made here here the solver setup the voxel grid I can go like a hundred and I think it will be a little bit better uh, not this one let me just check it okay maybe make a little bit too much here well okay a little bit better but yes this is overall the samples here on the master dynamic I'm working per half frame and if I want more accuracy I have to change it here and I will have to change the voxel grid on the ground but that's something I don't want to discuss here I'm just going to show you how the system works so then you can open it and try for yourself and change whatever you want so first I have variables I, I used to work like this I prefer to work like this I have all the my needed variables that I will use later on different uh, master dynamics so here I have the birth and like I told you I'm uh, here he, he goes to pick up the variable of number of particles and random rotation because uh, I made uh, also a an random rotation on the particles I think let me just check random rotation yeah I can't go up here and so they have random rotation cool and uh, let me just go again here so I'm positioning the particles in a path that I've exposed this so the user can choose the path uh, then I have the position of the the box that pushes all the dominoes and this is the ray positioning so because it starts to put here the particles and then it shoots a ray in Z so I have here intersect domino intersect with the ground by the way I have exposed this also so we can choose another ground I think yeah so I can pick it up here but so let's continue so then we reposition the particles and then we say that we are going to use uh, this operators the shape collision from thinking particles uh, I made two I used also physics but I prefer to use the, the, the shape collision from thinking particles more stable and in every aspect and a little bit slower but much more stable and that's it this is the exposed node I hope you like it and have some fun and I will share it in my Dropbox so bye bye and hope you like it